Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Dragon's Dogma 2 and we're going to be doing a armor video, but today it's going to be for our pawn. So we've already done a full series covering all the different uh, armor sets or the best armor sets that you can use for each vocation for the main player. Now we're going to be doing ones specifically for your pawn. Before we dive into that, however, I just want to remind you to please subscribe to the channel now if you haven't already. We're doing good. We're uh, gaining subscribers decently fast, quite a bit quicker than before I started this uh, subscriber campaign push. Um, the goal is 100,000. So if we haven't reached 100,000 yet, do your civic duty and subscribe. But with all that being said, let's dive into the video. So today we're going to be going over five sets for the pawn uh, as a mage. So if you have your main pawn set as a mage, these are the best, or I guess if you have any pawn that you're using that is a mage and you want to dress them up in a way that uh, works quite well, these are the five best mage armor sets for your pawn. So let's just dive on in and uh, start it off with the fifth one. Uh, so you can see we have our pawn right here in front of us. This is uh, where we will be displaying these outfits and you'll immediately be able to tell that uh, obviously a good pawn has certain assets that will make her more employable. And so the first item that makes up this outfit which I call the charming mage is the twilight star a simple metal circlet adorned with a small jewel over the brow that resembles a faintly twinkling star. The charming corset a garment of thin cloth that hugs the wearer's frame drawing tightly over the waist and hips to flattering effect no pants and then the feathered shawl a shawl fringed with impressive feathers worn artfully draped over one shoulder, it has a tendency to correct the conduct and posture of the wearer. And so I think you'll agree that A, this outfit looks quite nice and obviously is an excellent choice, aesthetically speaking, for the uh, appropriate pawn that you'll find most people have created in this game. And uh, outside of aesthetics, it's also very good stat-wise. This is some of the best armor you can possibly have on. Uh, stats for this one, we have a weight of 2.68 kilograms, uh, defense of 658, magic defense of 638 and knockdown resistance of 251 making it not only one of the best looking outfits on this list but also by far the best stat wise so uh the game developers really knew what they were doing when they uh designed these well this one particular item that being the charming corset uh but you know this outfit as a whole so very very good outfit stat wise and i should mention just in case that you're not familiar with how i do the armor on this i have all of these items leveled all the way up using dwarven enhancements and then they are dragon for it as well. So that will be the case for all of the items that I'm using in this video, so keep that in mind. The stats will be significantly higher than the base item would be, and they will weigh uh, less because the Dragon Forge process cuts the weight in half. So with all that being said, that is the Charming Mage. Let's move on to our next outfit for uh, a Pawn Mage. And so our second outfit for the Pawn Mage is the Gnostic Stargazer, which you can see uh, displayed before you here. This one is made up of the Gnostic Wings, a bejeweled circlet fitted with wing-shaped adornments intended to evoke soaring wisdom, it offers guidance to the wearer in moments of dire need. The Stargazer's Garb, garb designed for optimal magic flow, each component of it makes it so its make is so placed to channel the wearer's energies across the bared skin in between. The Spellweaver's Waistcloth, a waistcloth that owes the richness of its hue to a special dye, offers some protection as the fabric of its make hardens in response to magic, and then no cape for this one. And so that is the entire Gnostic Stargazer outfit. You've probably seen this one quite a bit in the game because it is obviously very popular. Appearance-wise, kind of hard to beat this one. It looks excellent, you know. Uh, any realistic mage in a battle setting would love to have this much protection on them, and uh, so therefore, from a realism point of view, I have to give it full marks. Stats on this one are a total weight of 2.56 kilograms, a defense of 446, magic defense of 540, and knockdown resistance of 140. So not as good as the last one, but still an obviously very, very good outfit, both appearance and stat wise. So that is the Gnostic Stargazer. Let's move on to our next mage outfit. All right, and so for our third outfit, we have the Illuminary Monk, and this one is made up of the Illuminary Crown, a crown that resembles a den of coiled snakes, said to calm the wearer's mind in moments of duress. The Monastic Toga, a garment cut from the tanned hide of a great serpentine beast, worn loosely wrapped around the torso, it has a freeing effect upon the mind. And the Braided Boots, sandal boots comprising strips of tightly wound leather, constrict the wearer's muscles and improve blood flow while on the move. And then, of course, no cape for this one. And so that is our uh, Illuminary Monk outfit. This one has stats of 3.23 kilograms for its weight, defense of 318, magic defense of 396, and a knockdown resistance of 164. So again, stat-wise, not as good as the last ones, but uh, st 
still quite good, and appearance-wise, obviously pretty dang good. Now, mind you, depending on the proportions of your uh, companion, the large cloak-looking things might look a little strange on the bottom end, but that being said, I still think it looks alright, especially uh, considering it's better coming than going. But, with all that being said, the Illuminary Monk is a excellent outfit for your mage pawn, both stat-wise and appearance-wise, and that's why it made the list. So that's number th uh, the third one we're looking at, let's move on to the second one. Alright, so our next outfit that we're looking at is what I'm calling the Zodiac Mage. This one is made up of the Zodiac Charm, an accessory designed to recall the southern constellations, also serves as an amulet when channeling arch magics. The Ares Morpho robe, a robe woven from lustrous fabric, dyed with the scales of butterfly wings, which are said to store magical energies, and the runic gaiters, gaiters comprising strips of sacred cloth worn wrapped around the legs, inscribed with arcane precepts known to practitioners of illusory magic. And so this one, again, is a pretty dang good looking outfit, at least for a mage, that is. Stats on the Zodiac Mage are a total weight of 2.27 kilograms, defense of 375, magic defense of 484, and knockdown resistance of 140. So, uh, stats are still pretty dang solid on this one, very comparable to the last one. Not as good as the first two we looked at, but it's hard to beat those in any way. Uh, appearances for this one, it's a bit more of a traditional mage outfit. Obviously, our upper torso covering is pretty optimal. Uh, maybe a little bit heavy duty, uh, constricting maybe, but other than that, uh, looks like something that you would see a mage, especially like in the world of the Witcher wearing. Um, and it all just goes together rather well. I like being able to use the Zodiac charm because, uh, just the, the lower face covering on that. First of all, very modest for a mage. It's it's a very nice modest outfit, and uh, I think it definitely recalls a more southern style of magic, which is always fun for some variety. So that is the Zodiac Mage, our second to last outfit for your mage pawn. Let's move on to our final outfit. And so for our fifth and final outfit, we're looking at the Solar Mage. This one is made up of the Solar Ascension, a circlet inlaid with a jewel in the center of the brow, aiding the wearer in focusing and stabilizing their magics. The Edified Vestment, a robe crafted from the layered hides of fearsome beasts that have been refined with esoteric techniques, shimmers like sunbeams on a sea of magic. And the Jewel Woven Sandals, sandals interwoven with jewels imbued with prayers. Many wielders of magic find that concentrated prayer fortifies their powers. And uh, once again, no cape for these because we don't want to uh, get too bulky. Our stats for this one are a total weight of 2.95 kilograms, defense of 390, magic defense of 498, and a knockdown resistance of 207. So the second best knockdown resistance on the entire list, the third best defense, and the third best magic defense. So obviously stat-wise, a very good outfit. Appearance-wise, again, uh, fairly on the modest side, very conservative not a whole lot going on there and I know that uh, all players of Dragon's Dogma do that's the thing they care about so obviously this is a great outfit for that perspective uh, other than that everything just kind of goes together rather well I think that the uh, edified vestment and its color definitely lend themselves to a, uh, a traditional mage type character in a game like this and it all just looks good together so uh, that is our fifth and final outfit for your main pawn or I guess any pawn that you might want to hire that is working with the mage vocation and so I hope you enjoyed this video or found it useful or maybe inspiring. Obviously, you can go with any combination of the pieces that I showed today. I think that the ones that I showed you are obviously the best outfits, otherwise I wouldn't have showed them to you. And I think that uh, both appearance and stat-wise, they play off very, very well for me. So, uh, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any recommendations, suggestions, outfits that you prefer, anything like that, leave them down in the comment section below. But in any case, thanks a ton for watching and have a nice day, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.